From Saginaw to Flint, Detroit to Grand Rapids, it was another busy night in Michigan and across the country. Thousands showing up to protest racism and police brutality. Tonight we have team coverage from the demonstrations here at Mid Michigan. First, a recap of tonight's march in Grand Blank Township. We will not stand to be supported in front of cameras and then brutalized on the streets. These two young women among those leading the large peaceful protests, they're fighting against police brutality. But as our Elise Ramey reports, they also want to make sure that message doesn't get drowned out by grand gestures of support that may be insincere. The Coles parking lot in Grand Blank Township filled up Friday with a diverse group of protesters eager to take a stand. To the white moderate American citizen. Kayla Shannon and Lyric Johnson helped to organize the protest happening just one day after their high school graduation. Several other students took to the microphone to share their feelings on being black in America and what this movement means to them. Then a moment of silence on one knee for George Floyd and others. One person holding up this sign that reads how many weren't filmed. George Floyd. They marched to the Grand Blank City Police Department and engaged in more conversation. What happened in Minnesota a few weeks ago is should never happen. I'm definitely impressed with a lot of people in my community because I did not expect it to be this big and for people to want to support something like this. That support they've also received from from the city and township police departments, which along with the sheriff's office and MSP helped to facilitate the protest. But Kayla wants to make sure those officers who publicly show support of the movement are sincere in doing so. It is expected that police who police uh, who are part of a system would stand in support of the people who are hurt by the system that they are members of. But in some states, especially the states that have very prevalent cases of police brutality on a regular basis, you question if they're standing for the optics or if they're standing because they truly care about what we're here to fight for. The protest didn't stop at the police department. The group marched back to the Coles parking lot as they continued to chant the names of those lives lost to police brutality. And I'm just really thankful that people actually care about what's going on in society. Reporting in Grand Blank, Elise Ramey, ABC 12 News.